This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing Renegade Ops, a game that I downloaded off PSN Plus for free on PS3, of course. If you have a PS3 and you don't have PSN Plus, then I would definitely check it out. They hand out free video games. And it's awesome and they give out free dynamic themes and avatars and everything. But it that's beyond the point. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take the time to do so right now before I get into the topic of this video. I don't want you to get distracted. So please press that subscribe button if you already have if you already haven't. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Every subscriber counts. Every fan counts. We at Game Caviar, we talk directly to our fans and we interact with you guys because without you, we wouldn't be who we are right now. So please, please take the time right now to press that subscribe button and um, just welcome to the Game Caviar train. Anyway, what I'm here talking about today is the new console. Uh, it's it's O-U-Y-A. Now, I think it's supposed to be pronounced... Oh yeah, I'm gonna say oh yeah. It's I think it's oh yeah though. Anyway, this is a new console that runs off Android 4.0. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's just the the a cell phone or a tablet and a console. No, it's not that. It's actually uh, being uh, it's being um, described as better than just a port of Android. In fact, on the Kickstarter page, it says that it's not a port and. Uh, let me go through the technicals, the, the inside, the technical specs of this console. It runs off a Tegra 3 card core processor, 1 gigabyte RAM, 8 gigabytes internal flash storage, HDMI connection to the TV, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB, wireless controller with standard controls. The controller looks like a mix between the Xbox controller and the PS3 where they took the button layout from Xbox and they took the sides of the PS3, the skinniness of it. And... Uh, mash them together and like I said it runs off Android 4.0 the big thing that you need to talk that that I need to deliver here Well, I should say that I need to talk to the big thing that I need to talk about is the fact that on the website They have literally said hackers welcome and the paragraph says have at it. It's easy to root. Rooting will not void your warranty. Everything opens with standard screws. Hardware hackers can create their own peripherals and connect via USB or Bluetooth. You want your own hardware design? Oh, you want our hardware design? Let us know. Blah, blah, blah. They want people to... I, I guess they want people to actually... When you pay for a console, it's yours and you can do whatever you want with it. Now, any... You, you can... You have the PS3 and the Xbox... But can you really, do you really own that? Can you really do whatever you want with it? And a lot of times you can't, but it seems like in in uh, this case of the Oya, you will be able to do whatever you want with it because they want you to do it. Now, they say that you you it runs off Android and it's also noted on the Kickstarter page that it's easy to develop a game for. In fact, there's a part on here that says, "Hey, look, you can de you can uh, design the next big game in your in your bedroom or at home or something of that nature." It's built on the Android platform, like I've said before, so you will be able to uh, learn how to develop games on that and contribute games that other people can play and like I said you could become a household name just by doing that making that next big game you know just just think of how ID games was back in the day when they came out with doom and and it blew up you know that could be you and you could do that with this console it's $99 right now It's currently sold out I believe um, so you're gonna have to wait for them to get a new shipment in but $99 is the selling point that's what they're going for so if you want one it's gonna cost you less than $100 to get one maybe a little bit more with shipping I don't think they're gonna sell this yet sell these in stores just yet but what I will say is that it's definitely something to um, to look out for I when, when I get some extra money I'm gonna check it out and I believe that 
it's going to be good, but it's going to have a kind of a cult following. But anyway, check out the Kickstarter campaign. I'll put the link in the description and like this video. I'm not having it and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.